Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we're going to take a look at number 39 on the US State Quarter Series, the North Dakota State Quarter. And you see we have two of them here. This one has a P on it. What does this have on it? Uh, this one has a P on it and that's a really interesting story about the State Quarter Series after 2005. In 2005, they decided to start doing what they call a satin finish coin for the uncirculated mint sets. And they really wanted to sell more uncirculated mint sets. It was kind of a marketing thing. So rather than taking the uncirculated coins right off the line like they always used to and packaging them, they actually made them with a special finish, the so-called satin finish. And you can see that, this one on the left and this one on the right. No way to really confuse these. This comes in a package, um, 2006 P and D, or Philadelphia and Denver, uncirculated coins. And they made 847,000 of them. So now if you want to get uh, the whole set from 2006, you need to get two P's. You need to get the Philadelphia uncirculated mint set satin and then you need to get a regular coin as uncirculated as you possibly can. Then you have to get the Denver mint uncirculated coin as un uncirculated as you can and the Denver satin. Then you have to get the San Francisco coin and then you have to of course get the San Francisco silver mint set. So when you're going through, there's a lot of coins now, um, and some of the books only hold five, so you have to decide what to do if you want to collect the satin finished coins in addition. Well, anyways, what's on the back of this coin? That's what the State Quarter Series is all about, and we'll get, get to the front later. It says North Dakota at the top, 1889, the same year that South Dakota became a state, and on the same day, November 2nd, 1889 and that was six days before Montana became a state and nine days before Washington became a state. What has it got on it? It has a sunrise, I believe the sun coming up. Um, it has two American bison and this here is the Badlands and you can see this is a, just a beautiful uh, representation. We have, uh, we've talked about this before, American Bison on a number of coins, but this is a pretty good one. Down at the bottom it says 2006 E Pluribus Unum. And way, way down in here, right underneath the foot of the uh, front bison is a DW. And that's for Donna Weaver, who is an engraver of this coin. Now, these satin finished coins, um, this one in this condition is worth 4 to $5. Um, but you have to buy it in an uncirculated mint set, which costs you $17 for the whole set, but it has 20 pieces, 20 different coins in the uncirculated mint set. I'd say if you see one, and you see one for um, uh, 10 or $12, I would buy one, just because it, there's only that's the only way you're going to be able to get the satin finished quarters. Now, let's look at the front. It says, United States of America. It says, Liberty here and God we trust behind Washington. P there for Philadelphia. At the Philadelphia Mint, they made 300 and of, of these kind. They made 306 million of these. They made 847,000 of these. So at the Philadelphia Mint, um, you know, this is a, a, essentially going to be a pretty rare coin for American um, coins, the satin finish one. They also made them at the Denver Mint. At the Denver Mint, and this is a beauty, huh? And this is not a satin finish. And look how good this is. So this is a, a, a collector, a friend we got this from. Um, and they just went out and they didn't believe in a satin finish. So they, they collected the best regular circulation or business strike they could. If we look way at the bottom of this coin, we see there's a J and an F here and a WC. John Flanagan was the original engraver of this coin in 19... 32, Washington's 200th birthday, and William Cousins updated the image so that they could get all the information on the front, because in the old days, a lot of this information might have been on the back, um, and so in order to get 
So if this is an old, older coin, it's not too old, but see how it says liberty on the front instead of liberty under the chin. It says in God we trust under the chin instead of behind. It says the date here. And notice on this one, uh, the date is not on the front. And then on the back of the old one, it says United States of America. Now we have that on the front and quarter dollar on the back of the old one. So we got, we moved everything to the front except for E Pluribus Unum. And then we moved the date to the back. Anyways, at the Denver Mint in 2006, they made 360 million of this kind. And they made 800, same 847,000 of the satin finish. And then finally, there were, there are two from the San Francisco Mint. And you can kind of tell which one this is. Um, I think by looking at I think this is a silver one by looking at it, but let's see. Yeah, so this is a silver one by looking at the front. And this is the clad one. And you can see the light just hits it different because it has the copper nickel cladding in it. And you can tip it on the edge and you can see that it is indeed the clad coin. So it's a San Francisco Mint. This one would have been in the uh, the regular proof set, this one here. And this one down here would have been in the silver mint proof set. The silver mint proof set, they made 1.57 million. So this coin here is worth eight to $10. At the um, clad proof set, they made 2.8 million of them. And this one would be worth about $2.50, maybe $3. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin World for the North Dakota State Quarter. Let's take one more look at it, and we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel.